Welcome back. The, the, the She Thinks Big Live workshop is coming up January 19th, and it's led by author and mindset and business coach, Andrea Libros. Andrea, thank you so much for being here with us. I'm thrilled to be here. Yes, I'm excited because you've got this book out, and now you have a workshop that I know is going to help a lot of people out there. Yes. And we're having a little fun with this. We're going to do a little quiz game to get us excited about the workshop. So for that, I want to bring in our friend Janine from the City Moms, who you just saw, because she's going to help with this. Hi, Janine. Hi. Okay, so Andrea has a list of questions that have to do specifically with female entrepreneurs, and we're going to test our knowledge. Okay. Because obviously Janine's a female right. entrepreneur Perfect. herself. So. Perfect. Works out well. All right, let's get into it. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, how long does it typically take for a woman-owned business to become profitable? <sighs> okay. Are we hitting the buzzer? Yeah. What do okay, you think? I'm just going to take a guess. Um, yeah. Five years? Two to three years. Okay. That was two to three guess. years. More than one, definitely more than one. There's a lot of hidden costs yeah. that people don't think about when they start businesses. Yeah. So they need to um, get their get themselves going and then have the expectation that they might make some money. Okay, that's a good one. And I feel like you were close on there, yeah. yeah. Also, I love this buzzer that it's a little <laughs> the little cha-ching. It's so cute. Yeah, that's very cute. cute. Okay, <laughs> question number two. What do we Question do? number two. Do more female entrepreneurs start their own businesses or take over an existing company or business? Okay, I have a guess, but I don't know. You guess, I, you okay. guess. I just wanna hear the buzzer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to say start their own. Just because I know I like a lot that. of times with family businesses when they're passed down, that can be a unique situation, but I do feel like I keep hearing about a lot of women who are just doing their own thing. You're right. Okay, right. good. Yes. Nice. <laughs> More women start their own businesses than take over an, a bit, an existing business. Yeah. And I think really that t stems from the fact that a lot of people take what they're passionate about mm -hmm. and start their business. You know, I don't know if men do the same thing necessarily. Some do, but most women really love what they're doing and they turn it into a business. You're a perfect example of that with I the same yeah. moms. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely a passion for us. So, yeah. I love yeah. that. Okay, so this is our last question, right? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, question three. What are some of the most common challenges women entrepreneurs face? So common challenges women entrepreneurs face. Oh gosh, oh. Um, okay. I mean, yeah. there's, there's some, I think, um, finding the time to strategize, separating kind of work from life, because I know as women, we take on a lot of mm -hmm. our life side of yes. the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's that whole balance yeah. thing. Yeah. And I like to use, establishing boundaries more than balance, right? Because you you want to do your business and you want to be a great mom or spouse or whatever. Yeah. And you've got to kind of figure out how to manage both. So that's a great one. That's perfect. Okay. Do you have any ideas? I was just going to say, for me personally, I just run a very small business, but I always get tripped up with like the financial aspect of it, like yes. the books and all of that. Thank so you. maybe that's yeah. part the, of it. The yeah. finance money part. Yeah. Definitely a hard a challenge. Yeah. A lot of women don't feel comfortable with numbers. Yeah. Um, they feel a little bit intimidated. Mm -hmm. So that is a huge challenge. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I were we that. on track? You're on at track. All, I got two more though. You ready? Okay. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Being taken seriously. Oh, oh for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's a challenge. You got that imposter syndrome sometimes yeah. too. Yeah. You How's know? that little like, business going? Yeah. yeah. Right. This is a real thing. I mean, you're I doing hear that it. all the time. Okay. Exactly. So there's there's that, and then the other thing is building a support network. Yeah. So your family, eh, they're supportive, but not necessarily in the kind of support you need. Yeah. Friends, not so much. You really need to invest in getting the support you do need. Yeah. So she yeah. thinks big live. We're gonna cover all of that, all of those things. It's gonna help you accomplish all of those challenges. That is oh, such a God. great resource to have, because I'm sure Janine, you have experienced firsthand. You know, to have all of those resources, the support system, it can yes. make a big difference. Yeah, it does. It really does make a big, it, you're totally right. Yeah. And I think just being able to have that, it really gives you that confidence to keep pushing forward. Yeah. yeah. So how can people check out this event? So they can go to my Instagram page, andrea.libros.com. There's a link there where they can buy a ticket. Registration closes on Thursday, January 11th. So make sure you get, get your 
your registration in yeah. now. Perfect. And yep. we can get your book on Amazon, right? You can get the yeah. book on Amazon. Um, she thinks big. Amazing. Thank you for doing this quiz with us. This was a really fun way to get information out there. Yeah. And again, if you would like to sign up for that workshop, we have all the information up on the screen. It's coming up Friday, January 19th. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And thank you, Janine, for playing yes, along. Yes, you're welcome. Great really participants. Cool. Yeah, thank you. That was Thanks. fun. Still to come, the NBA All-Star Weekend is just around the corner, so we're going to be breaking down all the things that you can do to get involved. We'll be right back.